Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This video was brought to you by Mega and the Domain, and today, lead designer Kevin and I are checking out the Halo Fleetcom Warthog. This is one of three sets based on the Halo TV series, and please do keep in mind these are hand-painted prototypes. So the final product will vary, but this is a behind-the-scenes look at the development of these collectibles like we've never seen before. So without further ado, let's take a closer look. Hello everyone, and welcome back. Joined by Kevin, lead designer, or one of the designers, lead designer? Lead designer. Congratulations. <laughs> but we've got a very special set in front of and us And there's here. a lot to go over. First of all, this is from the Halo TV series, but I don't know if I've been this excited for, uh, you know, this is like a figure pack. And this is like yeah. a Halo Heroes figure pack. There is so much to offer here. And whether or not you're a fan of the Halo TV series, there's so much, like there's so much in this thing. Let's quickly have a look at this because I'm really interested in what we have here. What is this, Kevin? All right, well, this is the artifact from uh, from the TV series. For anybody who's seen the series, it's what drives the narrative. It's what the Covenant and the UNSC are both after. It's really central to the story. We wanted to include it somewhere in the line and it made perfect sense to include it with the Fleet Come Warthog. Right, and this quite easily just attaches off and on, which is a nice feature. Right. It's not attached by any stud, it's just got sort of angles either side, just beautifully rests in there. Very nice representation of what it actually was. We're gonna start with certainly a very interesting element. This is the first time you've ever shown the Master Chief's face, <laughs> yeah, which exactly. is pretty cool. So let's have a look. This is John 117 in the flesh. Look at that. So this is obviously hand painted. This is a prototype, but this is pretty cool. I think for a lot of people, particularly a lot of collectors, having a face for Chief will resonate very well with them. Yeah, I, that's what we're hoping as well. <laughs> that's what we think as well. <laughs> that's what we'd all hope for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And you've been telling me that these are like Halo hero level decals yes. and figures. Yeah. And I can feel that. Even though they're prototypes, there are so many paint apps on these things. And you can even see a tiny little Silver Team logo on his chest and the classic 117. And they all have painted weapons as well. This is kind of That's crazy. That's right. We pulled as many hues from the, from the TV show as we could mm -hmm. to be able to replicate um, all of their colors as much as possible, as all their paint apps. The Silver Team logo on the chest. These are really nice. Look at these. We really wanted to give fans, you know, the, the deluxe experience with this Warthog. I mean, what a set of figures. What, like, it's a full fire team. I know one of the most popular fire teams out there is Blue Team mm -hmm. and Fire Team Osiris. And this is a full fire team in an affordable set. Exactly. With a new Warthog. There's a lot to offer here. Like, these are really, th these, are, these are amazing. Like when the Halo Infinite Flip. line bags came out, I know people were then excited that there was a possibility of a full fire team of yep. silver team. Cause like, say what you want, they are really great designs for Spartans. Like, oh, they, like look, I think that is gorgeous. a unanimous agreement yeah. that they are amazing characters. First yep. of all, we've got Kai. Why don't you just talk through the special features of these figures? There's a lot of new molding. All there. the helmets, obviously, the chest pieces are all new, the shoulder pads are all new, and we even have the the belt uh, slash hips that are that are all completely new as well. A lot of these were previewed, I guess, in the blind bag series, but you know, their real use was for this. Riz mm. also includes her backpack. Yeah, uh, yep. I mean, this will go a long way with fans as well. Yep. This is a really nice backpack, yep. particularly for Marines. Mm -hmm. I can see a lot of pop and swaps oh, yeah. involving yeah. this. I think this is like, the, yeah. this is the one that the fans will want. Yep. A new articulation, EOD, but like, wait, like you can feel the adult rating in these ones compared to like, if you're making a Halo 3 EOD, mm -hmm. it's in line with the art style. It's a little more cartoonish, which is what we love about Halo 3, mm -hmm. but this is a more adult gritty Spartan that has clearly seen some things. I love this thing. Look at it. Wow. I always love the silver and black shotgun. I always like when Mega do that. I'm very excited to have these as a fire team. They are awesome. The fact that they come with Chief as the leader. And all in one very affordable set. I know the right. price uh, markup might be slight compared to a normal Warthog, but that is to be expected when you're talking yep. about I mean, you were telling me yesterday, like the amount of decals in this is quite unheard of. Well, it's a little bit higher than we would usually do for Warthog. So if you take a look at the build itself, mm. you'll see, you know, the lovely UNSC logos and the prints, the yellow prints on the side. What's fun about this is that it's been completely redesigned from the ground up to match the TV show assets. Yeah. It actually comes in two variations or you can I replicate two variations yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, so, yeah. so for fans who want a more classic look, you have the back with the 
the, the gas cans, mm -hmm. which, which was in the TV show. For fans who also want to replicate uh, the action sequence wow. from episode five, exactly. you have the cargo rack. Check so this out. Like, the back really just swaps out ooh. and you can add the artifact to the back. That's really nice. Like That's what sets Mega apart every single time. A true attention to detail. Something that feels genuinely authentic. We got one more thing to highlight. Oh, also, yes, we do get Chief's helmet yes. alongside <laughs> his uh, face. And Chief will also work really nicely alongside Soren from the Renegade Banshee. They're a nice team. But we got one more figure here. Like, this is, this is a lot. We've also got Cortana. Halo TV series appearance. More just like a lab coat sort of scientist. I feel like uh, the Halo TV show sort of borrowed from like a lot of anime with the design of Cortana. Which is, is kind of just like a more natural um, re-adaptation of like what maybe what Halo would be like if it were released today with Combat Evolved. You can also kind of feel that with the weapon in Halo Infinite as well. So this is really nice. Again, hand-painted, but I'm looking forward to seeing just how many paint apps. Th like this is an absurd amount of paint apps, right? Like this is Halo Hero figures, five of them, including a chief, and then this warthog that has this interactive play feature with the artifact as well, and even a nice base plate to throw in there. I'm fully converted. Nice. I'm really looking forward to this Halo TV show series, the Renegade Banshee, the Fleet Car Mongoose, and the Fleet Hog... Fleet Hog Mong... What? what? <laughs> <laughs> the Fleet Hog Watcom. Yeah. No. <laughs> the Fleet Com Warthog. Thank you to you. All right. We're done. Nice. Thanks to Mega for sponsoring this video and stick it with the domain for more behind the scenes content.